Hello there, Brian here, the co-founder of Workload, a workflow automation tool where you can connect your business applications and create automated workflows. Uh, today I'm going to show you a quick demo of how to build a very simple, easy to use, uh, little automated workflow step. Once you sign up for Workload, you'll be taken to this admin panel. You just hit the blue button that says Create New, and from there you'll be taken to our Workflow Editor page. So you will uh, create a new automated workflow, give it a quick title, and as you can see, click on this node to create your trigger. A trigger is what activates the workflow. So I'm going to use an app called Clio. It's a law firm management app. It's one of the um, few apps that we integrate with right now, but um, we're constantly adding new integrations every week. So I'm going to add a new trigger, and the trigger is going to be when an activity in Clio is updated. And so I'm going to create the trigger. I'm going to test it. So now we're listening for changes in your Clio, so you can kind of test things out and see what it's going to look like. So I'm going to edit one of these activities in my Clio dashboard. Um, so you have to have be a Clio customer first in order to use a tool like this. And I'm going to update the number of hours that I worked on this activity in Clio. I'm going to say I worked on it for three hours, and I'm going to change the date to today's date. Now you should see this update right here in our panel. There it goes. Um, so you can see here all the information from the API is returned here. So I'm going to save and I'm going to close this. And then the next thing we're going to do is drag this little handle here to drop in a new node. And this is going to be our action node. So what I'm going to do now is within Clio, I'm going to set up an action. And for the action, um, I'll say I'm going to create a new communication. And so communication is just a way to um, log different communications with your clientele if you're a lawyer. Um, so using the API document page from Clio, I'm going to return the fields of body, subject, and date um, back. So the body, we're going to build a body and we'll say I want it to be the note. And I want to include um, the fact that it was a time entry. Um, there's a little bug in our system here where it adds this null um, to everything. So please ignore that for now. We'll be fixing that shortly. Sorry. Um, I'll add the date from the prior step. And same thing. We got this little issue here where we're adding this null text. It's really annoying. There we go. Okay, uh, matter ID. This is something that Clio assigns automatically to a case. This is like kind of case management terminology. So this is really good if you're um, if you're a lawyer and you're watching this, then you'll know what I'm doing. And the subject subject will just call it the display number of the case. I'm just going to leave the null on there for now. And this is going to be an email communication. This is grabbed from the Clio um, API documentation page. Eventually, we'll have this just become a drop down with all the potential values that you can select. So I'm going to hit next, and I'm going to test that action. And there we go. So that shows me that this was a success. Uh, I'm going to save and close that. And then I'm going to. Um, pull up my Clio uh, dashboard. And what you should see in Clio is in communications, um, under email communications, you should see um, that uh, here's my, uh, here's the thing that I just created uh, today. So here's my email communication. Uh, everything's looking good. It's all in there. It's all set up. Um, so that's fantastic. Um, so that means your automation worked. So we go ahead and kick it on. And now it's working. And if we come back here to the dashboard, we'll see, boom, there's our 
um, automated workflow. Um, thanks for watching the demo.